in response to a comment from a previous video um, asking how I got the video uh, reference video into the the scene here I thought I'd just go over how I did that um, this is shot number two and this is just um, a close-up of a you know, hand coming in and picking up coin here's my animatic so I've just got um, a hand coming in picking up a coin and going out so not a real complicated shot but I was having trouble really kind of under understanding how a hand would move and pick up a coin because I'd never really thought about it so but what I've got here is just the main keys of the hand coming in picking up the coin and going out um, to get those main keys I used video I recorded myself uh, picking up a coin and the way I then got the video into blender here is I split a screen out went to the video sequence editor and let me just make this big here here's let me just delete this so we can see how to bring this in um, so when you open up the video sequence editor this is kinda what you get just a plain bland screen here um, I choose add movie find my video clip select movie and now as you move your mouse around the uh, video clip just follows it around and you choose a clip or choose a track and you've got the beginning frame at the beginning of the clip here and I'm just gonna move it to frame one there so now we got the video on the track but now how do we see it down here there's a little pull out menu and if you click it you there's a, a choice called image preview now why we don't call that video preview I don't know but you choose image preview and there is your video I just scroll the mouse button and can zoom it in and out now I hit control down arrow to make the screen small again and there's my video ready to go and ready to edit so as you can see I've kind of tried to match for the keys the main points from the video and what I've done is when I find what I think should be a key down here in the time timeline I will push M and create a, a marker for each of my keys so I know where they are and also for each of my keys I will hit the A key in the 3D view and select um, all my bones and hit the I key and choose rotate location rotation and scale and what that does is it basically puts a column of keys on that point so I know that those are my extremes and one trick I do use quite a bit is if I want to change the timing of this I can choose a key click uh, push the K key on the keyboard and it'll choose the entire column of keys and then you can hit G and move them around if you want so just select a key hit K and you can choose the whole column um, so that's about it um, it's just a very helpful thing to get a piece of video into your file here to help with your animation. Hope that helped.